Hello, my name's Jonathan Porterfield of Eco Cars. Short video clip of our Citroen C1. It's the limited edition, it's the code, three door. On an 08 plate, registered 31st of March 2008. So it's just coming up to its uh, third birthday, 31st of March 2011. So I'm gonna get it MOT'd uh, tomorrow. We've bought this to run ourselves, but we've uh, sold it very quickly. So the customer's taking delivery of it this week. So just to show you um, some of the features where the tank is situated, is in the spare wheel well. And we will supply a tin of tie sealant that will fit in the boot as well. Um, I'll put some stickers on the car before I sold it. These will easily peel off. And this is the LPG filler. All our fitting is done by LPG conversions to our full LPG A members in Hina in Derby. Of course you've got the conventional petrol filler there. Being the code you get rather nice smart alloy wheels and uh, these are in very good condition. Often these, these can be scuffed but there are no scuffs or marks. The front edge of the bonnet is there's some very very minute stone chips but nothing really to be concerned about. And the alloy wheels again there's no grazing or marks to the alloy wheels at all. I'll just show you some more features of this uh, code. There's electric windows in the front, some rather snazzy chrome detailing and uh, half leather seats which for a Citroen C1 is quite unique. Um, we've got Isofix in the rear and two rear inertia seat belts along with two uh, leather headrests and uh, I'll just show you some more features of the car. So around the inside of the uh, C1 we get a rather nice central uh, instrument binnacle with a rather snazzy red counter as well. So lots of chrome detailing which rather brightens up uh, the interior. Um, a single shot CD player. Air conditioning, that wasn't on all the codes but this one has got aircon. Hazard warning lights and heated rear screen. Direction of the uh, heat and the flow, the fan, recirculate and fresh air and also the uh, obviously the temperature. Uh, gauge uh, as well. Uh, temperature temperature gauge, the heating controls. We have a 12 volt uh, power point here so there isn't a cigarette pack fitted, it doesn't smell of smoke inside the car. The locking wheel nut key for the other wheels. A five speed manual gearbox and being the code we also get a glove box as well with a lid and the service history books here along with the service manuals as well. So that's the all important LPG switch. So the red light denotes that it's going to start upon petrol. And then because the car is still cold, it might take a little bit longer than usual. Then after about 30 seconds or so, the top red light will turn to amber and then it will turn to green to denote it's running on LPG. Like I said, the car is uh, still cold, so it might take a little bit longer. And uh, whilst that's warming up, uh, we have the petrol gauge here. So we'll put a little bit of petrol in because it's running low. And to guarantee the mileage there, 22,482 miles, which we guarantee. There we go, just had a click from the boot, turns to amber, turns to green, and it's now running on LPG. The four lights at the bottom denote the level in the gas tank, so there's half a tank left and we'll send it out with a full tank of LPG. And when it runs out, this warning buzzer will beep and it will automatically switch back to petrol. So to turn the system off, press the middle of the switch, all the lights go out, the top one is red, it's denoting it's running on petrol. And then to turn it back on again, when you filled it with petrol, click from the boot, turns to amber, turns to green, and running on gas. So you don't have to switch this central switch, you basically run the car, when you run out of gas it will make that audible beep to basically tell you you've run out of gas and you've now defaulted back to the petrol tank. But if the audible beep, which is continuous, gets too annoying, you can just press the middle of the switch to turn the system off. Obviously, when you fill it with gas, just remember to turn the system back on again and run on half price fuel. And I'll just finish off uh, showing you another bonnet. So looking under the C1 we get a BRC engine control unit which changes the 
timing of the engine. Down here we have the uh, vaporizer, which vaporizes the gas, gets then fed up into this gas rail. And being a three cylinder car, we've got three gas injectors that feeds the three cylinders. We also fit a flash lube system, which basically lubricates the top end of the engine and then just helps to uh, keep those valves uh, nicely seated and lubricated because gas burns so much cleaner than normal petrol. So we've got to screen wash, obviously the dipstick there, and to top up the oil. So uh, they're very, very reliable, these little cars, and run extremely well on LPG. So showing, showing you the uh, V5 registration document. It was uh, one lady owned, and it doesn't have any previous keepers, so you'll be the second keeper of the car. And uh, at the moment, this V5 still reads as a petrol car type of fuel and taxation class is still as a petrol car with type of fuel being petrol we will change this this week with dvla and we will change the taxation class to alternative fuel vehicle and type of fuel will read gas by fuel so that enables a 10 pound discount on your road tax for the life of the car so uh, 10 pound off 20 pounds which is the normal cost for c1 means it's £10 a year to tax. All the certificates for the installation are here in, all the, in, in this wallet. So the certificate for the tank and the regulator, um, along with a useful guide and also a 2011 refuelling uh, map guide as well. Now the certificates are no longer issued, so what you get is this covering letter, which is called a registration receipt. And this is from uh, LPG Conversions at uh, HENA, who are uh, LPGA members. So it's just to confirm that the LPG conversion on Citroen C1 code Lima Sierra 08 Hotel Whiskey Yankee has been recorded on the UK LPG vehicle register. Uh, this is not a certificate, certificates are no longer issued and the way to authenticate the conversion is to go onto this website, pop in the registration and you will see it's been fitted by these approved installers Water Gas Solutions, also known as LPG Conversions Limited. So that's the uh, the certificate to prove it's been fitted by an authorised UK LPG member. Along with that, we get a BRC uh, service book, which just covers the usual questions that people ask, which we're uh, more than happy just to uh, go over again. And then here, uh, there's LPG Conversions stamp. With the date of installation so it's under warranty for two years from the 23rd of february up to 2013. so you've got some little uh, uh spaces here for its uh it's a 12 000 mile or 12 month uh, service which we recommend because it can keep the second year warranty running but we'll explain all that when you come to see the vehicle so finally great little cars these 10 pound a year to tax group one insurance 20 pounds will fill the lpg tank and take you around 280 to 300 miles i've had 310 miles out of one of these before now sat on the motorway so very cheap to run if you have any more questions about this or any of our vehicles feel free to give me jonathan a call and we look forward to speaking to you soon thanks for watching